As you have followed this coronavirus story, how well or misinformed do you reckon someone for whom social media equals the news would be as this vital story unfolds? You know, Helen, I think we have a real problem right now where it's not even just about social media. It's about, you know, all of the, the media and traditional uh, broadcast as well, that people are misinformed about coronavirus. This is serious. This is not going away anytime soon. We are on the brink of a pandemic here. Cases continue to pop up because we should have started testing for them close to a month ago, and we're only now starting to test for them now. So I think the real challenge is not just where people are getting their news from, but also what sort of information is really being censored, uh, you know, for the people of the United States. And that is really my big concern today. Well, to illustrate, I want to show a couple of uh, tweets that Kristen has recently uh, called out. How's this for timing? As airlines are canceling flights and the wary are postponing vacations, and as its founder was running for president, Bloomberg News wrote, go ahead, get on the plane for that Riviera vacation. And as the horrified are hoarding, armchair experts chime in with dubious advice, responding to the perhaps well-intentioned suggestion that we ask our doctors for 90-day prescription refills during an opioid epidemic. Chris asks, if you are not a doctor, stop giving out medical advice. Kristen, what is your advice to your clients and to any of our viewers who are using social media as part of their marketing strategy, business as usual, or does a story like coronavirus that blocks out the sun dictate changing tactics? Coronavirus is dictating changing all tactics right now across the board in terms of any traditional marketing campaigns or public relations campaigns and even a brand social media strategy. So this is not the time for cheap marketing ploys or to try and profit off of coronavirus or to price gouge or do any of the other tactics we're seeing companies try and do. You really want to change what you're doing to account for what's going on in the world. And again, this is very scary. And I, I don't mean to uh, instill fear in the viewers, but we are things are going to get worse before they get better here. And so I think any social media manager or agency really needs to take that into account and not just keep marketing the way they've been marketing. If you have scheduled tweets, turn them off and revise your marketing communications plan for a, a coronavirus marketing strategy. Turning off the scheduled tweets is advice I've heard from uh, other pals who do what you do. Uh, somebody once told me that uh, pre-scheduling your tweets is like sending a mannequin to a networking function because your cheery pre-scheduled tweets can keep appearing as some gun nut is shooting up a school or a shopping mall. So uh, a story like this can be a sketchy time. Now, on the consumption side, Kristen, what advice would you offer people who are watching and who are listening to this as a podcast uh, in general about consuming information that they see and hear online? I think you always want to make sure that anything has been peer reviewed uh, or is coming from a medical professional, ideally, or from a larger health organization where there is some trust that is instilled in that. Again, I can't uh, recommend enough the, this, the imperativeness of of fact checking things. I also think that as media outlets, we want to make sure that certain imagery actually goes with the story that we're talking about. For example, I'm a Westchester County resident. We have one of the highest uh, rates right now of people being quarantined in Westchester County. And there was a major media outlet that ran a story of someone on a train that was in China and said that it was in Westchester County. So I think as media professionals, we also have to be very careful that we're doing our due diligence before we put anything out. And my final advice is that we've talked a lot about having a continuous plan. And I think that as business owners, you need to have one right now. And as marketing professionals, you also need to have one for what you're going to do with your agency and what content you're putting out there. Great advice. Kristen Ruby, rubymediagroup.com. Thank you, as always, for stepping into the big picture. Thanks for having me, Holland.